Chelsea versus Preston in the third round of the FA Cup saw Pochettino make a few different selections because he had to due to some players being gone on international break, injuries, suspensions, things along those lines. But really, this was the right set for Pochettino and the players because this game itself was the confidence builder for them going into their League Cup semifinal against Middlesbrough. We've seen Chelsea struggle, and this was a game that they needed to score multiple goals, and we did see that. Now, we're going to look at their formation, how exactly they did that, but really, Pochettino needs to get credit for what he was able to do with this squad. Yes, the first half was a bit rusty where we didn't see a single goal, but in the second half, we saw him talk to the players, get the motivation, and exactly find four goals in this match. And granted, we probably could have seen more goals had we've taken more opportunities, but still will not be upset with four goals. Now, looking at the formation, the big talking point was the players that was selected. Now, granted, we have some players are missing because of the African Cup, some injuries and things along those lines, but still a 4-2-3-1. So the players we saw Broya up top, Mudrick out on the left, Sterling and Palmer as our attacking players. And the double pivot, we saw Consado and Fernandez, which again, we'll talk about that. In defense, we saw Gusto out on the left side, which that was a big talking point. Cole and the Sassu are CBs, and Gilchrist got his first start as a Chelsea player, and Petrovic was in between the sticks. Now, the big thing that we had to look at was how we were going to break down the low block. And really, if you watch the first half, nothing happened in this match. It wasn't until after halftime, Pochettino probably talked to the lads and said, we need to attack more out on the wings. Isn't that is exactly what we did? We saw Gusto drive forward, Gilchrist started forward. If we look at the heat map and where players were at, we were pretty much playing almost this V-type formation where players were doing this here. Now, granted, the reason why is because we had to work the ball all over the pitch because when we saw with their low block, we could not penetrate unless it was Sterling driving forward or even Modric who was doing a few footworks out on the outside. But still, even then, we could not find the back net until later in the second half when we saw Gusto who was able to whip in a ball into Broya who had a beautiful header. Once that happened, this opened the floodgates for Chelsea. Preston at that point then started to really have a hard time keeping up with the pressure from Chelsea. We saw our players again constantly pushing forward throughout this match where we could pin them back into their own half and granted yes they did still have that low black but after that first goal there was nothing they could do and really Chelsea were on the gas pedal and therefore again driving this game we then saw Thiago Silva come in as a sub who also scored off a goal or a corner kick and after that the game was set and match now overall this match like I had mentioned before was a great match for Chelsea to build their confidence going into their semi-final match against Middlesbrough we saw different players playing different areas on the pitch yes we do have some injuries but really this allows us to again change our formation throughout the match we saw one of the big talking points was Malagosta out on the left who then switched to the right Raheem Sterling starting on the right switching to the left and this again created more different scenarios for Chelsea to again be creative but also keep the defense on their toes because they did not know where the ball was going to be coming where people were going to be driving and therefore again allowed Chelsea to break down the low block eventually in that second half now if you enjoyed this video make sure to give this a like hit the subscribe button if you have not I greatly appreciate Appreciate that and I will see you in our next video.